Oh, yeah, to, to review my adversary's claims. <coughs> Sorry. So, first of all, what um, Aaron argued <coughs> earlier that um, test scores, that students who have test scores that are too low to get into college might be harmed by the fact that tuition will be free and that because of that, the enrollment system will be flooded with students due to competition. But I would argue that, in fact, that this is the point of having competition, that students who are competent enough to do well in school should be the ones who get into school, not just anyone who wants to. Because if you are a student who has the will to attend school, but you do not have the aptitude to, no matter how unfortunate that might be, maybe school is not just for you. As my other adversary said earlier, school is not just, I mean, upper education, I mean, I mean school upper education-wise is not just for anyone. So if you, if you simply cannot do it, then you do not have, you should not, Force yourself to do that. It's not in your best interest. As well as that, I would like to argue that um, for, from the fact that my, my adversary earlier said that existing debt is, a, is still a problem even if tuition will, is, will becomes free. But I would say that existing debt still needs to be addressed either way because these students are being harmed by having a debt that they cannot pay. Even though they are facing, even, even though not all of them are facing unemployment, the fact that they have to repay a debt is still, is still detrimental to their financial success because they already went to college and they have a job, but they, if they're still unable to pay it, they have no other option. Student, student loans, unlike other kinds of loans, are un, undisclosable in bankruptcies, as in, if a student is unable to pay off the debt, that debt stays with them until, I mean, that debt stays with them until it is forgiven, ultimately when the, when the in, in business terms, when the loan expires, basically, which is usually around 20 years. Um, as well as that, one of my adversaries <coughs> earlier, Kenneth, said that college, that college degrees being free will, not, will um, water down the value of having an upper education. Well, I would argue that college degrees still, in fact, aren't free. If the tuition is free for a college tuition, anyone can get it. But not just anyone has the ability to get a college tuition. You have to work for it, you have to pass your classes, and you have to demonstrate that you have the aptitude for the career that you're going for. You can't just get a college degree by just showing up to a campus like ordering a pizza. It does not work like that. It, t it only takes a long time and a long amount of commitment in order, to, in order to obtain a college degree. And this is for any field as well. As any, anyone would know, no matter if it be history, a STEM field, or a business field, you still have to work to do any of those. If you didn't have to work for a college degree, why is it a degree? It is, it's, a degree is meant to differentiate you from other peers in the fact that you have learned the arts better and you have a higher aptitude and skill than other people in the workforce. My, my, my adversaries also argued that college, isn't, je, college just isn't for everyone. Free tuition doesn't force anyone to attend college, unlike what he's, my adversary said earlier. Some students, even if the cost is free, they still would not want to go to university because even there are parties, which is an appeal, but that is also a stereotype. And most students just simply do not want to waste the time to go to college if they're not going to gain from it anyway. As well as that, one of my adversaries argued that no evidence, I mean, uh, affluent students will go to, affluent students will go to, um, um, will go to colleges because it's free, but in a sense, they are not necessarily gaining from this in any way because they have the financial aptitude to pay for college in the first place. They're not really gaining anything by going to college for free because everyone will have been doing it. It's not unequal in any way. Along with that, I want to point out that students from low-income families should have the ability to attend public institutions that best fit their academic talents and personal and professional goals. The, stand the barrier to this should not be a fact that someone else can afford it and you cannot afford it. The standard should be that you have the aptitude to do well in school and you have the will. Thank you.